There are hundreds of different designs for elevators in Minecraft. However, most of them are very expensive, using tons of pistons per level, and many of them only allow you to go from one destination to another. So I've come up with this design that solves both of those problems. It is extremely cheap, it only uses one piston per level, and allows you to travel from any level from the starting position. This design is also extremely simple to use. If you are on floor 1 and want to make your way up to floor 3, simply step on this pressure plate, hop in the elevator, skip right over floor 2, and make your exit once you reach floor 3. When you're finished, break the boat. It will fall back into the hoppers to be recollected and used again. Now you probably noticed that I began to drown a little bit while using this elevator, but fear not. You can travel around 30 blocks vertically before you begin taking damage from drowning. Skip over floor 2. Oh, are we going to stop at floor 3? Nope, we're stopping at floor 4. Psych! Are we going to end at floor 5? Only time will tell, and it told no! Get off at the top, and we have traveled 28 blocks vertically without taking any damage. If, however, you wish to travel more than 30 blocks vertically, I simply recommend that you build another one of these elevators with its base starting up here, because this is extremely cheap and simple to build. Speaking of extremely cheap and simple to build, your mom would also probably agree that this is extremely cheap and simple to build, so trust her. Here are the materials you will need to build this. 8 hoppers, 8 pressure plates, 1 dispenser, assorted solid blocks, 1 stair, 3 signs, 1 water bucket, and boats aplenty. Get it? Like oats aplenty? But boats aplenty? Plop all those items into your inventory, and you're ready to build. To begin, first clear out a 3x3 area, and place a hopper in the center. Then make hoppers facing inwards on all sides of the first hopper. Put hoppers in the corners, also facing inwards. Remember to hold shift. And fill this outer ring with pressure plates. The pressure plates in the corners are not necessary, but they make the elevator design look a lot neater. Break the center hopper and place a dispenser facing upwards, and you are done with the base. Next, you need to pillar upwards until you've reached the final height of your elevator. Remember, no more than 30 blocks vertically. Place a stair up top here, and put a block in the center. Then you need to build out two, break that block, and repeat the process all around. Break this center block and place signs all around here. Finally, place a water source block in the center here. Make sure it lands on top of that dispenser. You can remove this pillar and fill up your dispenser with your boats aplenty. Now this basic outline is fully functional, so if you only want this elevator to travel from one destination to another, you simply have to build this. Step on the pressure plate, hop in your boat, and Orville and Wilbur Wright would be proud of you. Yay! Now if you want to turn this elevator into a multi-level elevator, it gets a little bit more expensive and you need to use pistons. Here are the materials you will need to build each level. Assorted solid blocks, two stairs, one sticky piston, one redstone torch, six redstone dust, and one wooden button. It needs to be wooden because it has a longer delay than a stone button. Plop all those items into your inventory and you are ready to build. Figure out where you're going to place your first floor and put a stair facing this way right here. Then you need to break the block underneath and go out this way. Three blocks, break these two and place a sticky piston facing this way. This is the only sticky piston you need per floor. Finally, I recommend that you place a block right here and a stair right here. Next, you need to power the sticky piston, so go out two and place a, place a redstone torch on the side of this block. Next, go down like this and extend this platform out over here. Place a block up here with a wooden button on top and rug redstone dust along this line. And you've successfully completed one level of the elevator, so if you only want this to go to two destinations, this level and the top, you are done. However, if you want to add more levels, simply make sure you have a gap of two blocks before your next sticky piston, and you just repeat this process and build this layer again. And now you are finished with your multi-level elevator. Thank you so much for watching. 
If you have any questions about something I said or did in this video, please leave a comment below and I'll try to clear up any confusion. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys later and have a great day. April Fools have a terrible day, suckers!